origin of the earth in the conception of Yoruba tradition. How was the world created? How was man created, mankind? Well, according to the Odu Ifa, the world created by Ulodumari, and Ulodumari is the one that sent Emisil, Olumila, and all other Orisha to found the heart. In the beginning, it is believed that uh, there is a water all over the world, no space. When the heart is to be formed, Lord Mary sent Odudua, the progenitor of Yoruba and all other divinity, Shango, Obatala, Elegbara, Ogun, Ormila, to go to the world and appoint them with different ministry. Ogun was in charge of uh, technology, justice. Obatala is an artist of Olodumare. Obatala is the one that mold the hair, all organs of our body. Urishaoko is the one that established the family. Elegbara is law enforcement agent. Orumila is spiritual advisor, is mouthpiece for all these Orisha. They consult Ifa in heaven. And the good river said they would have to offer a chicken with five fingers, chameleon, 200 shen, plenty of shant, a sack. All these have been collected. They put everything inside the sack. When it was time for them to ar ar arrive, there, there was no place to land. Water was at everywhere. The shame, 200 shame, they command the shame to stay on the sky. And they descend down, they come down through this shame to land. They threw the sand inside the shack to, to the water. And they threw the chicken. It was this chicken that spread the sand all over the world. The first person to touch the, the heart is chameleon. Chameleon, the true the chameleon, chameleon was first creator to walk, walk on, on heart. After that, they discover it became solid. So they are now come down one by one to form the heart. They say, what name can we give to this town? A place where the land was spread. It's called Ile Tinfe. Ile Tinfe is called Ile Ife today. There are some other uh, story that Yoruba people came from Mecca, from Arab, we do not have that uh, authentic in Eshaifa, in Oduifa. The story I just told you now came from Oturupa Manifa. It's one of the Oduifa. So there is, if you read a book about uh, Yoruba or Africa or Nigerian Yoruba people, you will learn that some say they come from Sudan, some came from Arab. But the question I used to ask people, if it is true that Yoruba people come from Mecca or Arab, the language that Yoruba people speaking is not Arab. Where do they get their language from? Where do they get their costume? This type of dress I'm wearing, they never wear this, they beat. 
the music, and the names. Where do they get? Is that similar to what do they have in, in, in the Arab today? So I do not agree with those who claim that Yoruba people came from Sudan, they came from Arab, they are this and that. So we are solely depend on what if I say. There is a story Daniel told me about Obatala being uh, uh, responsible for creating man, and then Eshu came and gave him a mu and make him drunk. So, is, am I correct? Story the, the, we used to have that, that type of story, saying the uh, Odudua. Odudua, yes. And Obatala was given the assignment yeah, the, yeah, to form it. the art. That's another faction of the story. Mm -hmm. I tell you the the true the one from Odufa, and Obatala get drunk. Then Odudua took the shark from him, and that is why Obatala was in charge of mold the head of the human being, and Odudua was the founder of the heart. That's another faction of the story. But the one that we use the pen on is the one from a mm -hmm. yeah. The first one you told me. The first, yes. Okay. Uh, Dania also told me there are some initiations. Women are not allowed to participate. And there is a story to explain why. Well, in the beginning, women, as a part of their nature, Women, they are a sensitive creator. And women used to keep aside. But as I told you earlier, that it was Oshun that fight against this. Oshun was the first woman to start woman liberation. In the beginning, women are not allowed to be among the Egogun or to know the secret of a Google. Until today, a woman is not allowed to see Odu or Lofi, wife of Omila. The reason why is that uh, Odu, she's a, one of a powerful woman, but she was ugly. She has spots all over her body, but she possesses mysterious power that she would like to share with Onumila. She came to make an oath with Onumila. Onumila agreed to marry her for Odu to assist spiritual work of Onumila. Odu, give warning that no woman should see her face. This is what makes Onumila give her a special room. When food prepare, they will place the food at the bottom of her room. She opens the door, she takes the food in. When she finishes, she takes out the, the plate. This is how Odu had been taken care. But one day, Onumila was traveling, left Odu and his family at home. There's one, one of the wife of Onumila who used to have curiosity about the food plate placed in front of a door and saw the empty. Who is inside? She would like to know. This curiosity make this woman took a lamp. There's a clay pot fitilla. Open the door and place the lamp in the face of Odu. Odu became furious. 
and she killed the woman instantly. And this make something happen to Orumila. Immediately the incident occurred. There's a sign in his body. Orumila knows something is happening. So Orumila, the Yereifa is like a telecommunication in those days. There's no telephone. There's no letter, but they use Iyere, poetry, as a telecommunication. Iyere. Iyere, Ifa. Iyere. Then Orumila recite Iyere. Say, Odu, I did not make an oath for you to kill my wife. And Odu also replied, because when Onumila came back home, he met the death of his wife. Odu uh, already departs. After her departure, Onumila recited Iyereifa wherever he is. She heard it. She said, why you kill my wife? Odu also replied. I do not took an oath with you for somebody to place the light on my face. This is what makes a woman know the truth that this woman break the law because there's a decree between two of them that no woman should place light to see her face. So ever since that day, or will say, no woman, no akwetebi, no akosi odu. When we have to make the ceremony if I initiation for a woman, we omit, we used to omit odu. All other sequence of the ceremony we have to complete only odu. A woman is not see odu. That is what we do till today. Well, that being said, uh, how does uh, Yanifa perform an initiation? Yanifa is, does not have a separate initiation than the Ifa initiation. Before a woman can become a Yanifa, a woman has to be training. Even a man, a man who undertake Ifa initiation, it's not automatically became if a priest, Babalao. Any person that would like to become a priest of Ifa, we have to undertake the training. The initiation ceremony is for the life of the person to identify the roadmap of that person, to guide him to know his own personal a war, taboo, to know the future and past, what is going to happen in his own personal life, to become a babalao, a man has to undertake the training before you can be pronounced, but initiation does not pronounce any person, a priest, either babalorisha or yanorisha, you will have to undertake the training Yanifa become Yanifa when she was able to interpret Odu, when she know how to divine, to perform the sacrifice. She's Yanifa. The same thing like men. But there is something I do not understand. There is a moment and Yanifa will read the Odu for one person. The Odu Ifa is different from the Odu we are talking about. Ah, it's different, okay. The Odu, the, that word Odu, uh -huh. it has many meaning. Ah, okay, it's okay. <laughs> the, okay, for, take for example, all the signatures of Odu Ifa is called Odu. The mysterious wife of Orumila, Olofi, is called Odu. The big pot is called Odu Ikoko. Okay. So, 
Many who does not know Yoruba language, they used to mistook the word. So the Odu signature is different from Odu, mysterious wife, who is a woman being anyway. Okay.